More local leaders and groups are calling for the resignation of a Spokane Valley state representative. This comes on the heels of a report by the Guardian newspaper claiming Shea helped a group train young men for biblical warfare and a report in the Spokesman Review that he ordered surveillance on his political opponents. This is not the first time this local lawmaker has faced criticism. Most recently, in April, an investigation in an investigative report by The Guardian accused Shea of secretly organized surveillance and discussing violence against liberal groups and people. And shortly after that, the State House of Representatives agreed to pay for an independent investigation into whether Shea promoted political violence. That is ongoing. Last October, he was accused of writing a four-page document called the basis for biblical war. That described rules for war and banned abortion and same-sex marriage. For News Now reporter Ariana Lake continues our coverage. Ariana, she appears to be, or Shea appears to finally be able to respond to these claims. Yeah, well, he hasn't directly responded to a repeated request for an interview by 4 News now, but he did post on Facebook thanking his supporters. The six-term legislator and military veteran said in a post Friday, wow, the outpouring of prayers and support has been overwhelming. That was shared just two days after The Guardian reported Shea was engaging with members of Team Rugged. The spokesman review has also confirmed that Shea directed the purchase of tracking devices and compiled dossiers of local progressive leaders including Councilwoman Lori Kinnear, Brian Beggs, and Ben Stuckert. Kinnear tells 4 News now she isn't intimidated by Shea and that his preparation for holy war and his threats of violence against non-white community members are grotesque. The Spokane chapter of the NAACP says Shea promotes hate and violence. A statement went on to say that anything short of the expulsion of Matt Shea from the Washington State House of Representatives is a threat to our community, a threat to our collective safety, and an implicit endorsement of whites supremacy. 4 News now reached out to every local state representative, the entire Spokane Valley City Council and statewide political groups. Some have called for Shea's resignation, some haven't responded at all. We are